And we're back. So, like I was saying, this is the store where we can do things like purchase an iron shield and a small, a small seed satchel. I hope they meet with your approval. So if you look here, this is the original shield that you start off with. Now it can actually upgrade and buy this shield, which is going to be much better and will probably survive getting hit with fire. Exactly. Not bursting into flames is a good thing. I should warn you, it won't protect you from electricity. 100 rupees, no problem. I'm maxed out on money. His face is completely in my way, but okay, I got the iron shield. Yes, the customer is always right. If you have any doubts about the durability of your shield, I suggest you have it examined at the scrap shop. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> look at Link's head, it's just like bobbing. He's just like, mm hmm, yep, uh huh, yes, okay. Alright, so now if we come here, we can buy bombs, which we can't buy yet because we don't have a bag. Arrows, which we can't buy because we don't have a quiver. And this is a small seed satchel. That's a small seed satchel. With this in your pouch, you can carry an additional 10 seeds. Recommended for slingshots enthusiasts. I'm not going to buy it, though. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's all I'm going to buy from you for now. Now I'm going to actually equip the shield, and if you look under my hearts, you can actually see that there is a meter, and that meter is um, the health of my shield, it's durability. Um, with certain potions, you can actually um, recover the durability of your shield. If it runs out, your shield breaks, and that's the end of it. But by talking to this guy, we can upgrade it if we have the right items. So let's see, we can make him fix it or upgrade it, since it's just, you know, we just got it, we don't need to fix it, but let's try and upgrade. Let's see, he can upgrade my slingshot and my shield. Let's see about the shield. Um, in order for him to upgrade this, he needs these items, um, and it also costs 50 rupees. But we don't have the ornament skull or the Elden ore, so we can't exactly upgrade that. Let's see about the slingshot. Whoa, the slingshot upgrades into the scatter shot. An excellent slingshot able to scatter a single seed over a wide area, which is super duper cool. Um, we need three jelly blobs and two dust relics in addition to the um, amber relics we already have. So I unfortunately don't have those items either, which means once again I'm still unable to um, upgrade anything. So, sorry to tell you guy, I'm, yeah I changed my mind, sorry buddy. Yeah, it's pretty funny. The people in this game get a little sad when you don't, you know, buy from them. This person is a creepy-looking fortune teller. And this person, this is the potion lady. Yes, potion shop. You sell potions. Want to hear more? No, I already know what you're telling me. No need to be rude. I'm busy too, but have a look. I'll forgive you. Okay, if you want something, uh-huh. And what that guy, what, he's, what she's referring to, if you read that, was that um, her husband will actually... Um, enhance your potions even further. Let's see, that's some serious selection known as the revitalizing potion. Simply pour it onto a broken shield, it'll repair your shield. It'll also give you four more hearts, which is always useful. So I want some of that. Yay me. Revitalizing potion, blah blah blah. And if I talk to her husband, I can get the potion enhanced. Let's see what he has to say. Yes, yes, potion, viewing, infusing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Insects. So if I bring him bugs, then I can actually um, enhance my potions. I can buy a bug net from Beetle's Air Shop if I don't have one. Beetle is usually flying his shop outside around the bazaar. Yes, if you look around, you should see him up there. Alright, so I need to go get a bug catching net. Other than that, I can actually um, show you guys uh, some shield play now. Alright, so as you see, here's my shield, duh. Um, by shaking the nunchuck, you see I do like a little thrust with my shield. That's basically going to be your parry. So that'll parry things like if somebody um, swings at you. Or if somebody shoots something at you, you do that, it'll bounce it back, it'll reflect it, um, and you know, that kind of stuff. Also, obviously, it's good for blocking and protecting you from things like fireballs. Um, Alright, so, if we look up, we should be able to see Beetle Shop. He should be flying around. Um, I see some birds. I don't know if that's his shop. 
They said above the bazaar, which, oh, I almost walked right off the island. Walking off of a flying island, not a good idea. Let's see. That's the bazaar. If we look, oh, there goes this flying shop. Um, let's see if we can get to it without flying, or do we have to be flying? I don't know. I have a feeling we might have to fly. Oh, I'm tired. That sucks. Hey, wait up. I want to buy some stuff from you, guy. Yeah, it does not look like I'm able to get to him without flying. Unless this building will help? No, that's nothing. Alright, how do I get to him then? Alright, that was not what I needed to do. This sucks. Oh, I can't even get up from there. Hmm, this is pretty confusing. I'll go over here. Let's see, where is his shop at now? Where'd he go? Oh man, I lost him. That's a bird. Alright, we're gonna get in the air and we're gonna go try and find this damn... Oh, look, there he is. Let's see, can I ring his bell and make him come to me? Will that work? There we go. Oh, cool. So now I did that, it actually made him put on the rope. That beetle actually does have a distance. It can't go, you know, but so far. <laughs> I could just let go. Wow. That was something they made me go through. Either way. And um, for those of you who are Zelda fans, then you may actually recognize this guy. He is actually the same um, person who sold you things back in Wind Waker. Alright, so let's see. What do we have here? This is an increased number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch. It has to be the most adventure uh -huh, for 300 rupees. That's all I can carry right now. That's pretty expensive. But it's useful because instead of holding only four items, I'll be able to hold five, which is obviously very necessary. This is a life medal. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. All right. Um, I believe these wall at 800 rupees. I can't even hold twice that much. Alright, no thanks, buddy. Sorry to tell you. Um, Alright, this looks like a, another money bag. This is an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. You can carry an extra 300 rupees. That's only 600. I still can't afford that freaking hard thing. For only 100 rupees, do you want to buy it? I think I'm going to buy that, but I want to see how much this bug catching net is, because I know I need this. That's a bug net, you know, for catching bugs. And six too. There aren't many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons when you do see them. Only 50 rupees. Alright, so I'm gonna buy that. Bum 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 bum. Yeah. And now I got a bug catching net. Thank you. You're welcome. And I still have 120, so I'm going to buy this. Yes, yes. Amazingly useful. 600 total rupees. Yes, I will buy it. And now my wallet is even bigger. It's funny though, my wallet just became even bigger, however, I became poorer. <laughs> so sad, so sad.